Hello everybody, just before we get into the video today, I would like to give a ginormous shout out to the people down at Critical Ops for sponsoring this video. Critical Ops is a game available via the Google Play Store for mobile devices. Ever heard of an online first person shooter? Of course you have, everyone has. But have you played this FPS before? Online play, gun variation, game modes, etc. on your mobile phone and it's all for free. Free. This is free. Give it a go via the Google Play link posted in the description below. Thank you all so much and enjoy the video. Hello everybody, I am H Creeper and today I'm back with a brand new video. Today is a new Torchwood reaction, um, Series 1 Episode 4, Cyberwoman. Uh, before we get into that though, there's a few things I want to say. First of all, thank you so much for the support on episode 1 and episode two's reactions. Um, both of them getting over a thousand views is mad, so thank you very much for that. Um, so we're definitely going to continue through the rest of the series, hopefully one reaction for Torchwood every week. Um, so we've got episode 4 today, episode 6 next week, and after that, I'm not exactly sure, but I think it's episode 10. Um, we're taking a bit of a jump, so I'm going to watch all the, ones, the other ones off camera. Uh, I've watched episode 3. I thought episode three, um, I'm sure I remember, the ghost machine, I think it was. Brilliant. I, I really enjoyed it, but I can see why people didn't really want me to react to it because there wasn't really anything to react to. It was just a good episode of TV, really. Um, whereas I've heard a lot about Cyberwoman, so I'm kind of concerned because I know it's another Chibnall one, and I also like know what the Cyberwoman looks like because you know I'm a Doctor Who fan. I've been in that culture for a long time. I'm aware of it, but I've never seen the episode, so I'm gonna go in. Totally open-minded, because people said I'd hate episode 2, the sex gas one, and I didn't. I thought it was alright, so... Well, well, we'll see what I think about episode 4. So, let's get into it then. What's going on? <laughs> the Anto just looks miserable. What's going on with the Anto? There's something wrong with him. What's happening? Um, the, he, this, he's hiding something, isn't he? I mean, they can tell from the look of his face. I mean, he's hiding something. Oh, who's this baldy? Is he bald? Or has he just got grey hair? He's got grey hair! <laughs> I can hazard a guess to what's on the other side of this door. So I'm guessing someone's ill or dying. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> okay. What's happening? Because <laughs> I'm very confused. So. <laughs> Intro. But ever, but ever, ever. The only Cyberman left, which is not a Cyberman, you can tell. It's got like parts, but like it's not complete. That's fair. Like that's actually horrifying, and I hate that. <laughs> Dude, chill out. Just get your hands away, man. <laughs> Stop it. Actually, like, I'm sorry, I know people like joking about this, like the design and everything, but that's horrendous. And that's the kind of body horror like stuff that Doctor Who kind of needs. Because they had like stuff, World Nothing Time, a body horror type thing, but actually showing the, the woman in pain as she's being part converted is horrifying. The one thing I don't like is the design of the Cyberwoman outfit. Just looks, it just looks like it's the kind of stuff you'd find on like, I don't know, one of these dodgy websites where it's. But the idea of being part convert, they could have just done something so much better with the design to make it just horrifying and body horror, like, don't have to make it look like a side of a bikini, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, the idea is great, the writing works, just whoever designed the Cyberwoman outfit was just having a bit of a funny day by the looks of it, because it just doesn't, I don't know, he's gonna die isn't he? Oh dear me. Oh, is he, oh, is he getting converted as well? Oh nice, okay. Ooh, I like the voice. I like the voice, actually, that works. Oh no! Oh dear. It does look like video game CGI, I, I do get that, but that is still horrifying. Oh dear. Oh my god! Perfect, brilliant acting. Um, love the design of the dead guy with the cyber bits coming out of him. Oh my god, that's horrifying! But I love it. 
Oh my god, the, the, the bits coming out of his back are horrible. That's really horrifying. Oh, stop showing it. I don't like it. I like Tianto as well. I, he's a fantastic actor. Um, is it Gareth David Lloyd? Is that right? I don't know. I might be wrong. Sorry if that's wrong, but... No, I, he's doing well. And as much as I can't stand the design of the Cyberwoman, the story so far is working really well. I'm actually... Oh, God. It's just some proper, like, horror stuff. I mean, look at the body! That's horrifying! But it's so good, because this is what Cyberman stories should have! Real dark body horror stuff, and this is... horrifying! Imagine if you saw Bill Potts like that. Half converted. I mean, come on, this is dark. Oh, I... I quite like this story so far. It's good. She... She's not in the chair. I even I can see that, she's not in the chair there. I'm getting a little bit like, I'm getting a few chills here, I really like this. Oh dear me! That was silly, wasn't it? Ah! Don't, no! Don't convert her! Oh god. Oh no! Oh Yanto, for Christ's sake! Oh no! Come on, hurry up! I know she's not gonna, she's not gonna die, is she? But I love this so much. This is so good. I don't know why people hate this. This is amazing. I'm loving this. This is such a good episode. Oh my god! Design aside, the Cyberwoman design is the only thing I didn't like. The music, the build-up, the suspense, everything is perfect. I love it. Oh god, this is so good. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, because he can't die. <laughs> Go on, get up, man. Get off. <laughs> Come on, son. I love it. This is great. You'll get back up again. Music's good. But if it's Murray Goals, why didn't they use the Cyberman theme? Or something a little bit like that? You know, like a little bit of a motif. Dun, 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 dun. Get out of there. Get out. <laughs> the only thing I've got about this now is that it went from really, really good body horror, like suspense, and now it's just running around a room. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, you pair of clumsy buggers, honestly. <laughs> oh! Oh, yeah, of course, because she's not fully converted. I was on top of you, I could feel your hard on. Oh! Oh! Damn, I thought that pterodactyl would come in useful so, uh, at some point. <laughs> Very clearly CGI there, because just holding the beak like that was just... That must be horrible though, especially if it is a loved one, you know, like... Because it's not a Cyberman when you can still see their face, and I think that's what the point is, yeah. It's quite a, quite a good point though. Hey though, I'm loving this. It's good. It's a good episode. Oh! He's an idiot, really. I totally get what he was on about the first time. Pizza. <laughs> oh, dear me. <laughs> you know what though? Both of them, like, stellar acting. Just absolutely brilliant. <laughs> the lighting and everything is just perfect. She dead? No. Oh! Covered in blood. Oh god. I'm really confused. What happened to the pizza person? Oh my god. Oh no, that's wrong. No, no, that's wrong. Don't. No. No. Don't like that. That is messed up. No. This is wrong. <laughs> this is so messed up. <laughs> okay, out of context clips. Perfect. Surely they're not gonna keep her alive. I'm sorry, but I know that's cruel, but that's so wrong. Just heartbreaking. I really, this is really, really, really good. I'm sorry, this is such a good episode. The acting, the writing. Oh, okay. Oh 
My god. So after all that, yet again, people are going, yeah, oh, episode, series one, episode four, towards from Silent Woman, oh, it's a big laughing stock, no one, you know, I'll not love it. That is probably my favourite one I've watched so far. That was brilliant. That was really, really good, in my opinion. The one thing I really don't like is the design of the Cyberwoman. That was totally unnecessary. It didn't feel right. You know, it, it just... Because it, it looked like a cyber bikini. With Torchwood, and I talked about this last episode a little bit, with it being, you know, forcing itself to be like an adult Doctor Who. Perfect opportunity with the Cyberman episode to really emphasise the body horror element and really go full force in making a half Cyberman, half human. Like a half converted human. But you didn't need all the, you know, all the bumps and all that. You didn't need all the... You didn't need anything. You didn't need anything like that because it just looked like a big old cyber bikini. You could just have, you know, bits and bats fully converted, you know, half the head or something like that would have really worked. But they didn't do that. And that's the one thing that's a bit of a downside. Everything else was brilliant. There was shocks, there was twists, there was turns. Um, when she transferred, like, sort of moved her brain to that other person, I was just... I was so disgusted. And I did overreact a little bit, but that is wrong. And that was like... It's not bad, because it's good, because I had a reaction of it that was like, oh my god, this is horrifying. But that's what it should be. That's what Torchwood should be. It should be a step up from Doctor Who. It should be a bit darker. It should be much darker, sorry. And this was much darker. Um, love the elements of um, obviously Doctor Who being in there. Love the connection to um, Doomsday with Torchwood 1. Very, very clever. Um, really like that. But yeah, no, I, it's just a good episode. I really enjoyed it. So, yeah. Um, that's that, I think. We'll take those off. Um, so next time, next week, we'll be reacting to episode 6. I'm not going to be reacting to the one that we've just seen on screen there. Um, we will instead be reacting to, I believe it's called Countryside. Uh, I think that's another Chris Shibble one. <clears throat> Everyone's been telling me it's to do. There's been a few, I didn't think it was, you know, I'd never heard of it before, but everyone was talking about it. So this is going to be a one that I go in with absolutely no knowledge whatsoever. Because I knew about the sex gas, I knew about... Torchwood in general for episode one. I knew a little bit about Cyber Woman. Countryside, I know nothing about. So please don't spoil anything in the comments. Um, because I probably will read through them. But yeah, the next one next week will be Countryside. And I'm quite excited for that. So yeah, um, I'll see you all then. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like, share it around. Always helps. Comment below for any more uh, suggestions for reactions in the future. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, with notifications on, preferably, because uh, YouTube is a bit of a mess recently. And as of recording this, we're getting closer and closer to 11k, which is insane. So thank you all so much for that support. Um, but if you want to subscribe and we're not yet at 11k, go for it, because we're getting there. We're, get we're going to get there soon, so come on, let's go. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to say. There's got, we've got a Patreon page for early access, and you can obviously check out the um, full hour-long uh, reaction, uh, uncut, unedited, um, on Patreon as well for, I think it's $5 plus supporters. I might be wrong with that one, but yeah, you can check that out on our Patreon page as well as early access. You can probably watch next week's now, probably, possibly, if it's up there. Um, we'll see. But I'll try and get them up as soon as possible. Like As soon as they're edited and as soon as they're uploaded uh, onto YouTube and listed, they go straight on Patreon. Um, so yeah, we've also got a Discord server if you want to join the conversation about it, talk to me and ask me questions about did I enjoy it, all that sort of thing. Um, it's more likely I'm going to see it on Discord than I would in like a comment section, so yeah, that's always helpful. And yeah, that's pretty much that. Um, thank you all so much for watching, I'll see you all next time. Have a lovely day, bye bye.